Okay, anyway, uh, this next story is pretty cute. Elmo, the furry red resident of Sesame Street, is now one of the Americans under the age of five who received the COVID vaccine. Wow. You were super duper today, getting your COVID vaccine, Elmo. Yeah, that was a little pinch, but that was okay. <laughs> I just love that voice. The new public service announcement uh, in it, Elmo's dad said he had a lot of questions and concerns about getting Elmo vaccinated, but he talked to his pediatrician to make the right choice. It was produced by the nonprofit Sesame Street Workshop in partnership with the CDC and the American Academy of Pediatrics. And in case you are wondering, Elmo has been three and a half since 1984. Is there any way we can freeze our clocks? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Did the, I turned 57 next week. I'd like to be three and a half again. I'd like to, and I'll uh, uh, say it, say it, Bats, say it. I see you thinking it. 10 years. It's okay. <laughs> That's where I went. <laughs> Did the doctor tell you you did a super duper job when you got your COVID shot? Uh, no, he didn't, but I wish he had. <laughs> I, back to the PSA. I think it's a brilliant idea it because is. we've heard from Monica when she comes and reports to us about the likelihood of parents vaccinating right. their five and under. How do you explain it to them? A, how do you explain it to them? And B, there is a lot of skepticism still, even though we know that it's been approved and that it is safe and everything else. The number of parents who say they're going to vaccinate their five and under is the smallest percentage of any age group. Mm -hmm. So they, they really want to convince parents of young kids that it is okay and you should go ahead and just take the shot. I can understand the concerns. Yes, it's they're valid. Everybody has a decision they can make on their own.